Now, in your booklet on page 88, they give us uh, this example that I thought we'd work out a little bit. So again, this uh, marine biologist was on a survey, asked a number of people what they had caught. And we have three categories. So we have walleye, we have a bass, and we have perch. And we have 135 for the walleye altogether. We have 116 that caught at least one bass and 164 caught at least one perch. So again, what is our strategy? Well, we said start with all three. So the number that caught all three was 54. Now we're going to look at those that caught W and B. So W and B were 73. And I'm going to subtract now 54 from them. I'm having a little trouble with my pen. Uh, subtract 54 from 73, that leaves me with 19. So I'll take my eraser now and leave it like so. Now we're going to go to W and P. W and P, there were 60. that we're going to subtract 54 from. So that gives us a 6 that we can now put in red here. So this way is your 60. This way is your 73. And now we have this way to go. So uh, B and P. B and P we had 69. That we're going to subtract 54. And that'll give us 15 over here. hit the wrong button, so I lost a lot of stuff, but I've put back most of what we had. So again, when we did the, for the perch and, I should say the birch, birch, bass and the perch, there we go. And we subtracted then the 54 from B and P, the 69, we got the 15. Okay. But now we want to figure out only the walleye here. So we're going to add up 19, 54, and 6 subtract it from this and now this will give us 56. Again getting the data. Now we're going to add up the 19, 54, and 15. Subtract that from 166. Or I should say 116. This adds up to 88 when I add all of this up. So if I subtract 88 from 116, I get 28. So now I'm going to add these three 
and subtract it from 164. So adding these three together, I get 75. When I subtract it from 164, that gives me an 89. So now I've distributed everything, and we didn't talk to any fishermen that didn't have any fish, but we're wondering how many people then caught fish that we interviewed. So the technique is we're going to add these up. And I'll use black to underline. Now I have all of this I know is 135. Now what I haven't counted then so far is the 28 also, the 15, and the 89. So adding these four figures up should give me my people. Now there's another question here. How many caught a walleye or a bass? That was part two of this question here. Well, we know we have one 35 and remember this or is a union and we know 116 caught a bass but we have to subtract these two here which are the differences and these were, if you recall, 73. And so we end up with 178. And these answers check out. So again, in more detail, notice now that you've done perhaps another and this one, it should be coming perhaps a little easier trying to understand what's going on here and the strategy to solve it.